Hey y'all, Crystal with MrsHappyHomemaker.com here and today we're going to be making pineapple and cheese casserole. I grew up on pineapple and cheese casserole. We used to have it all the time alongside of a ham, especially on Easter dinner and Easter's coming up so I thought it'd be a good time to share it. If you've already tried and know the joy and just excitement that a good pineapple and cheese casserole brings to you, then you know what I'm talking about. As good as a side dish, as good as dessert, as good as breakfast the next day, you reheat it in the microwave or the air fryer. Yes, that works too, and it's so good, so good. Anyhow, if you have not heard of pineapple cheese casserole, you need to try it. Don't knock it till you try it. I know it, I know it, I know it. It sounds a little bit odd, but let me tell you, mm. Good stuff. And I'm going to show you how to put it together. And it's really easy and it's really budget friendly too. I mean, it's literally just what's in front of me and some cans of pineapple. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients, you guys. Let's do this. So I have six tablespoons of pineapple juice. I have actually drained that juice from a can of pineapple chunks, a 20 ounce can that I have set aside to mix in in a minute. So I'm going to pour the six tablespoons of pineapple juice in my bowl. I'm going to add in one cup of white sugar, three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and a quarter cup of melted butter. And I mix that together. Now that I've mixed that together, I'm going to add in two cans of, or two 20-ounce cans of pineapple chunks. I've already drained it. And I'm going to add in two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I prefer the sharp cheddar. And I'm just going to mix that up. I have buttered a two-quart dish. And I am just going to pour this inside. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. I'm going to go bake this for 20 minutes. My pineapple casserole has come out of the oven. I'm going to set it aside and I'm make my Ritz cracker topping. I have one sleeve of Ritz crackers crushed in my bowl. And to that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of melted butter, which is about half a stick. Stir that up to combine it. And now I'm just going to top the pineapple casserole with it. I'm going to put this back in the oven. I'm going to reduce the heat to 300 degrees. I'm going to cook it for another 20 minutes. Ta-da! It's done. So this is cool for about five minutes, and I am going to get me some. Seriously, one of my favorites. Mmm. If you like this recipe, then check out my blog, MrsHappyHomemaker.com. You can find me on social media, too, underneath Mrs. Happy Homemaker. Oh, and make sure you hit that follow button.